what's up? It's your boy. And um, pretty much since it's October, I will be doing all horror movies, suspense thrillers, thrillers, anything that, that jumps and makes you kind of nervous, I will be doing it. Old, new, whatever. Whatever I've seen that I deem worthy of being in this month of October. And uh, like I said, let's get into it. Spoiler heavy. Of course, there will be spoilers. I will be talking about the movie in depth because you should have seen this movie by now. Don't give you my opinion on it. So uh, let's start it off. Uh, this movie is a don't watch. Uh -uh. Don't watch. And um, yeah, the name of this is called The Grunge. <laughs> the Grunge. So the movie starts off with like some woman has some, again, with the creep, creepy ass house, you know. Some woman's at this house and like some strange shit just start happening. Like out of nowhere, just shit start happening. Then bam, she's dead. Like, it's like, oh, okay. So then all of a sudden we start this investigation. What's happening? What's going on? Now we switch to two years later. Uh, we have a new couple or family living in the house. Uh, Peter and Nina. Uh, wait, Peter, which is played by John Cho. And then we also have Nina played by Betty Gilpin. And um, yeah, they, they move into the house and then they start hearing and going through the eerie, strange things that I was telling you about the woman in the beginning went through. So they start hearing all that shit. So now they get curious to try to figure out what, what's, what's going on with their house. So then all of a sudden we jump to this other old couple and they're living doctor. It was like, OK, wait, I thought we were talking about Nina and Peter. But now we're on this old couple and they're living doctor and then they're going through eerie stuff. And I'm just like, why are we jumping? But then I figured out, oh, it's the lead detective. She's like investigating different things going on. So that's why the timeline is jumping all around. They're just not letting you know which investigation she's doing at the moment. So it's like, she, we can be on this family. We can be on this. We can be on that. We're just going through her investigation of what file she decided to pick up at that moment. You really don't find out what's going on in the movie to about 45 minutes in. But the movie's only an hour and a half. So it's like, 50% of this movie, I'm confused. I'm just like, yo, like, what? <laughs> like, what happened? What, what, what are they doing? What are they doing now? Huh? What? So, I mean, the last act of the movie kind of brings it full circle. It was like a twist in it, and it fooled me. Like, I like when scary movies fool the fuck out of me. Not even scary movies, just any movie. If I'm thinking the movie's going this way, and all of a sudden it's like, whoop, whoop, oh, we going this way? Then it's like, all right, you got me. I, 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 all right, I see. Oh, I didn't see that coming. All right, you got me. And this movie had that in there. But all in all, this shit is still weak. Don't get it twisted. This movie is not good. Like, the, the, the ending fooled me. And then you go, oh, okay. But then I was like, you still weak, though. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, you saw that? you still weak though at the end of the way it's a dog watch as I said at the beginning and as usual it's your boy JL sorry though thank you guys for checking out my page and make sure you click that bell so you can see all the videos that I do follow me on Instagram so check out the videos to the side of me because they're just as dope as the ones you just watched and with that being said peace and goodbye